Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Firewood at the Furnace. My name is Brad, and as you can see, we are not in the wood yard today. Uh, we are filming right here in the backyard of the house because I've got something that I'm really excited to show you and something that I've been thinking about for a long time. And a situation has arose where I get to uh, check it out and share it with you. But uh, before we get to that, I just want to touch base on our trip to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. If you follow along on the live stream from down there at the campground, uh, then you know that uh, we had a blowout on the way down, but we had a beautiful vacation. The campground was absolutely awesome. The kids had a great time. Taylor got to hang out with her team for a little bit, watch a few games, and uh, the weather was hot, but it was beautiful. Uh, on the way home, we had two more blowouts on the camper. So in nine years of camping, I've never had one, t one single tire ever blow out, and in one trip we had three. Uh, but Val helped me keep my sanity, and uh, we, we made the best of a bad situation, got home safe, and uh, no damage to the camper. But anyway, that's the update on that, and uh, let's get in today's video because what I have to show you is sitting right here on this table next to me, so stick around. All right, so on today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a fairly new company that reached out to me via email and asked if I wanted to check out their smokeless fire pit. Uh, it is Warm Bond, and it is a company that uh, is specializing in the smokeless fire pit industry. It's something that I've really wanted to check out because I see all these people with these other brand of smokeless fire pits, and I'm wondering, do they really work, or how good are they? I was around one of these types of fire pits a few months ago and it seemed to work really well. So that got me kind of excited. And when Warm Bond reached out to me, I was like, I would absolutely like to check it out. I think it would be perfect for uh, content on the channel and be something that I would definitely use because I don't, I get a lot of companies that reach out to me and want me to review their products. Uh, but unless it applies to my channel and it's something that I can definitely use, uh, I turned down a lot of them, but this was something like I said that I definitely think I'll be able to use and I think a lot of you will enjoy it as well So I want you all to check it out and we're gonna unpackage it together and see what all is in here and See how it works So in addition to the stove it itself, they do have several different packs that you can get in addition to the stove uh, they were gracious enough to send me the grill pack, which we will be checking out here in just a few minutes But I'm really interested to get to see the stove here um, You can see the the main box has rope handles and it's packaged really well reinforced uh, holes in the box here to uh, Make sure it doesn't fall apart on you and there's something really cool about this box and I'm going to show you here in a minute, too uh, But it comes very well packaged even got a little sticker here to go on the beer fridge. That'll be going on there as well. Uh, a storage carrier case. We'll open that up here in just a second. Uh, we've got fire starter rings, um, which I'm excited to tell you that once we get into the fire starter rings, these two packages right here are gonna be for you. Uh, and I will tell you how you can get your hands on a pack of these fire starter rings But you got to stick around in the video here to find out how uh, We've got a rain cover Which is really cool for when the fire pits not in use And let's start taking the pieces out and we will talk about them individually as we go through them So as we go through this packaging, you're gonna to get to see it at the same time that I do. This is my first time uh, opening the packaging. You saw the, the thing was still wrapped when we started the video. So you'll get to kind of experience the assembly of it and how it works right along here with me. You know that um, I don't try to fudge anything or show anything ahead of time. I want you to experience it all right along with me. So you see it comes with these feet. 
that screw right onto the bottom of the stove. There's four of them in here, very large, uh, sturdy feet and pre-drilled holes that they thread right into. So there is another option for the bottom of this stove if you choose to use it. I'll show you that here in just a second as soon as I get this last foot on. And the other option to use if you don't want to use the feet is the mobile option. And it comes with very heavy duty caster wheels. Uh, two caster wheels for the rear and there's different ones for the front that actually have a braking system on them that lock in so when you get the fire pit to where you want it to be it doesn't roll away on you that's no good right comes with the allen wrench that you need to attach it uh, all four casters in there also really well packaged they're called omnidirectional wheels uh, two of them are steerable and two of them are not So let's get into the rest of the stuff here. Underneath the box that the feet came in comes the heat insulation plate. Uh, it goes on the bottom of the stove, it looks like from the directions over here, uh, to dissipate the heat so it's not burning directly down onto the ground. The bottom of the stove has the holes in it and you can see all the holes that are drilled inside here which is part of the smokeless system so we'll get that attached real quick and see what's next Alright, so the, the uh, heat insulation plate is attached. The next thing we've got here, and I don't know if this is coming apart in order or not, but we will figure it out. This will be the removable ash pan. It sits straight down into the bottom here. This is the removable combustion plate, which sits down over top of the ash pan. Then we have the heat insulation. Oh no, this is the multifunctional shield. So this goes on top of here. And everything is fitting together very well. Uh, when I put the, um, the heat insulation plate on the bottom, there's four Allen screws that go in there. And you see that it's cut out to go around the feet. Uh, and it fit perfectly. I didn't have to tweak anything or force anything. It was manufactured perfectly for the, the holes that are already pre-drilled. Here is your grill top cast iron grill top that goes right on here not only is it a fire pit but it's also a grill can cook uh, cook whatever you want on there some burgers some dogs some bacon in the morning for breakfast and I'll tell you something I'm not only excited about having this here in the backyard but this will be great for going camping you know sometimes you go and a lot of the campgrounds just have an old truck truck wheel ring as the fire pit and sometimes they don't want you to move it around and it's in a location that's not conducive to where your campers parked or not where the picnic tables or the chairs are uh, so with this thing it's completely portable you can put it wherever you want 
And another thing we're going to be using this for too is in the fall and going into the winter when the kids are playing baseball and softball and the weather's chilly, we'll be able to go right out on the uh, sidelines of the field. And like this fire pit, we'll probably be the most popular parents on the team. Uh, but let me show you something. I know you're probably thinking right now, well, if you take the fire pit, you got to have firewood. How are you going to take that? Well, Bond Stove Warm Bond has a actual solution to that problem as well, right in the packaging. Let me show you that. So do you remember the box that the stove actually came in in the beginning of the video here that I threw all the bubble wrap and the other packaging into? Well, don't throw this box away when you buy this stove because it does have another purpose. You might have been saying, Why? what's up with the ropes, with the heavy duty handles here? Well, let me show you. If you look on the side of the box, it gives you a little line to cut out here. So let, actually it's already perforated, it looks like, so it might just punch out pretty easy. Take my razor blade here and get it started and see what happens. It's perforated for a guideline for you, but you still might need a little help. Well, it came off there pretty easy. Now, if you haven't figured it out yet, this, let me get the other rope out so you can see. This is how you will carry your firewood to the field or to the campground or wherever you're going. So we're gonna load that up here in just a minute too and see how that works out. It does have a reinforced bottom, an extra piece of cardboard in the bottom, and it's not just taped, it's all interlocked with each other here. So it should hold up pretty well. We're definitely gonna test that as well once we get done here. All right, so before we bust into the grill pack, I wanted to mention that it does come with a fire poker as well. I think this will also serve as a good way to lift the, uh, the, the grill cover up off of the stove when it's hot. If you want to remove it after you're done cooking, just enjoy the fire. You can certainly do that. And obviously to stir the coals up. So it does come included with that. Let's check out the rain cover here for when the stove is not in use. Strong elastic band at the bottom so it should lock on there pretty tight. And I tell you, another thing that I like about this stove compared to other stoves that I've seen is that it's like a square design rather than a round design. And I think that's going to work a lot better for your firewood lengths. We'll check out what size firewood lengths that you can actually put in the stove. I'm pretty certain that 16 inches is going to fit just fine. But um, also, if you're going to be taking this camping with you, if you're going to be taking it like we are to the ball fields, this is going to pack in your car or your truck a lot a lot neater uh, with, the squ with the square design versus the round design. So the, the rain cover fits good. These are the wheels that I showed you earlier. We'll check those out as well. Uh, let's open up this carrying case and see what it's all about. All right, so here is the carrying case. And it looks like from the photo here that the way this works is you just lay it out and set the stove on top of it and it will wrap completely around the stove for transport. Super simple. Got to make sure the Velcro attaches though here. There we go. Look at that. That is a super efficient way to carry the stove with you if you're going anywhere. So we will revisit that here again also. Take this out of the way for now and we'll bust into this grill pack. Don't forget, I'm going to tell you how you can win some of these fire rings. Let me show those to you here real quick. These fire rings uh, by Warm Bond, it says 
It gets a roaring fire going in minutes and burns longer. Process with the wax dipping and mold shaping. Built to last, saves your time to throw a party around the bonfire. So, it says all you do is put the fire ring under the fuel and ignite the starter ring. It says you do not need to use kindling. Uh, you don't need to use paper or any kind of accelerant. This fire ring is supposed to do the job. We're going to find that out here in just a few minutes as well. Uh, how many of them are in here? I should probably tell you that. There's half a dozen, six starter rings inside of each pack. So I might as well tell you right now, the way you win one of these is comment on this video. So all you got to do is leave a comment. And on the next live stream, the Thirsty Thursday live stream, we will pick winners not only one, but for two canisters full of these starter rings. So that's how you win. Right here in the middle of the video. If you hung out this long, then now you know. All right, here is the grill cover. Very nice and heavy duty. It's got a heat glove inside for your right hand. Fits my hand very well, which is unusual because most of the time gloves that are provided with stuff are too small. But it fits my hand just fine, so if you've got a large hand, that will work for you. This is the knob for the top of the grill cover. Comes in its own separate box. And this is a thermometer. So if you're going to be cooking, obviously you need to know what the temperature of the grill is. So that's very nice that they included that as well so there's a little roll here we'll check out what's going on inside of here got a pair of really nice tongs your meat your meat fork it's got protective tips on there that'll have to be removed and there are four skewers to roast your hot dogs or your marshmallows or whatever you might want to cook over the fire there's four of them one for each person in the average size family so it'll be perfect for my family since uh, since there is four of us everybody gets their own so very nicely packaged it rolls up in velcros as well perfect let's get the knob that just fell attached to the top of the grill cover we'll get some firewood out and check out what we can do with that so now that the uh, fire is getting going here a little bit, I wanted to show you this. I'm hoping the camera will capture it. But if you look down inside the fire pit, below the ring, actually down inside, you can see the smoke rolling around in there. Uh, but none of that smoke is actually making it out of the fire pit, uh, proving to me that this is truly a smokeless fire pit. Uh, I'm not up to speed on the technology of how or why this works, but it certainly does. Uh, if you're anything like me, when you sit around a campfire, the smoke will always find your face no matter which side of the fire pit you're sitting on. So this will be awesome to be able to sit around and not have smoke blowing in your face. And the heat, you can certainly feel the heat off of it as well. So here's another cool piece of information for you about the Warm Bond fire pit is that if you notice the fire pit behind it, the one that we normally use, you see that ring, how rusted and nasty it looks. Well, the thing about this Bond stove is that it is has a stainless inside. The inside components are built of stainless, but if you notice on the outside, that gray color is a composite material uh, that will prevent it from getting ugly. It's not gonna rust on you. It's not gonna turn all those discolored, you know, purples and browns and yellows uh, from the heat being inside of it like a, a normal fire pit would. Some of the other brands of smokeless fire pits that I've seen, they do get that discoloration. But the added composite coating to the outside of this fire pit will keep it looking nice for, uh, for a long time. So that's a cool little tidbit of information there for you as well. So now that the fire is going well, we'll go ahead and we'll stick in the thermometer here. There's a nice little hole with a cover on there. You just pop the thermometer slides right in there so you can keep an eye on your temperature. Um, we'll put the grill top on and that's a good time to use the fire poker. 
because there is certainly that works well there so now not only do you have a fire pit but you also have a grill top and I think since the girls are away today it's just me and Brady here at the house we will go ahead and cook us some lunch <laughs> 